This video reviews arachidonic acid metabolism. Arachidonic acid is an omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acid present in the phospholipids of membranes of the body's cells. Arachidonic acid is abundant in the brain, muscles, and liver. Skeletal muscle is an especially active site of arachidonic acid retention accounting for roughly 10 to 20% of the phospholipid fatty acid content. In addition to being involved in cellular signaling as a lipid second messenger, arachidonic acid is a key inflammatory in intermediate and can also act as a vasodilator. Arachidonic acid is found in the cell membrane. Let's say this molecule is arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is released from the membrane due to cellular signaling or from cellular injury during inflammation. Cellular injury leads to a rapid influx of calcium. This influx of calcium activates phospholipase A2. Phospholipase A2 frees arachidonic acid from the cell membrane. Free arachidonic acid is immediately converted to bioactive mediators called eicosanoids. This leads to activation of the lipoxygenase or cyclooxygenase pathways. Let's walk through these pathways step by step. Depending on the cell type and enzymes present, arachidonic acid can be metabolized through the lipoxygenase pathway or through the cyclooxygenase pathway. The lipoxygenase pathway leads to the production of leukotrienes. There are a number of leukotrienes, including leukotriene B4 and leukotriene A4. Leukotriene A4 can be metabolized into leukotriene B4 or into leukotriene C4, D4, and E4. Leukotriene B4 initiates chemotaxis and inflammation and plays a role in immune modulation. Leukotrienes C4, D4, and E4 are involved in vasoconstriction, bronchoconstriction, inflammation, vascular permeability, and eosinophil recruitment. Cyclooxygenase can be metabolized via the COX-1 pathway or by the COX-2 pathway. The COX-1 pathway controls the number of processes that help maintain homeostasis and thus are constitutively expressed. This means COX-1 products are made at relatively constant levels. The major products of the COX-1 pathway are prostaglandin I2, also known as prostacyclin. Prostacyclin plays an important role in gastric protection by helping to maintain the gastric mucosa renal homeostasis by helping to control renal blood flow, vasodilation, and inhibition of platelet aggregation. Another product of the COX-1 pathway is TXA2, also known as thromboxane. Thromboxane promotes platelet aggregation and vasoconstriction. The COX-2 pathway is induced by inflammation and cytokine signaling. The major products of the COX-2 pathway are prostaglandin D2, prostaglandin E2, and prostaglanda F2-alpha. The major actions of the inflammatory prostaglandins include inflammation, including induction of the vascular phase of inflammation by promoting vasodilation 
and capillary permeability, bronchodilation, pain, and depending on the cytokine signaling, prostaglandins can also serve as anti-inflammatory mediators. That was a lot of information, so let's do a summary overview of the arachidonic acid metabolic pathways. Arachidonic acid is a fatty acid found in the cell membrane. Upon release from the cell membrane, arachidonic acid is metabolized via the lipoxygenase or cyclooxygenase pathway, depending on cell type and enzymes present. The lipoxygenase pathway produces leukotrienes. Leukotriene B4 is involved in the processes of chemotaxis, inflammation, and immune modulation. Leukotriene C4, D4, and E4 are involved in vasoconstriction, bronchoconstriction, and inflammation, vascular permeability, and eosinophil recruitment. The cyclooxygenase pathway produces prostaglandins and thromboxane. The products of the COX-1 pathway are prostacyclin, which plays a role in gastric protection, renal homeostasis, vasodilation, and inhibition of platelet aggregation, and thromboxane, which promotes platelet aggregation and vasoconstriction. The products of the COX-2 pathway are prostaglandin D2, prostaglandin E2, and prostaglandin F2-alpha. These prostaglandins promote inflammation, vasodilation, capillary permeability, bronchodilation, and pain, and can also play an anti-inflammatory role.